Hey guys, this is Ben, also known as Scienterman on Keiko. Um, just bought a new little toy, the uh, HPS 140i, uh, made by Velman, and uh, just doing a short little review after playing with it. Um, starting off, this is the box it came in. Just uh, quite little. It's the uh, Replacement for the HPS 10, I believe. Um, that's I also have that in this video. USB charging, so no more having to uh, replace the batteries on like the older one. Um, so here we have a Fluke True RMS meter, the old uh, scope and the new scope with a little Sony mini amp. Uh, testing it with a BT60 and a uh, 10 amp power supply. So, just a little comparison. So, if you look here, see a clean wave, um, and I set the settings for the scopes the same, just so it's a good comparison. Showing 8.85 volts clean signal. Um, come over to the Fluke. And it's showing 8.7. That's true RMS uh, AC. Pretty darn close. Now with the same settings, the uh, older one shows 9.95 volts. Same exact 10 volts per division, five milliseconds per division. Um, uh, the 10x setting. And here's what's interesting. If we adjust the uh, volts per division, you can see the voltage kind of changes drastically. So at 4 volts per division, it's pretty much as close as you're going to get, 8.99, which is still uh, not that. But if you come over to this guy, let's see, even when you change it to say 5 volts, the difference is pretty small. You can see that's 9.04. Two volts is too sensitive. Um, and that's on the five milliseconds per division. I changed it before. Um, if you go to two, you can see less of the wave, but um, still shows the same voltage. Which so that's pretty handy, and you can see this thing only has four buttons, which really only need four right now. Let me turn that headlamp off. So here's the menu. Um, go up and down so you can set your uh, milliseconds, your volts, whether the probe is on 1x or 10x, AC or DC, and then um, a bunch of settings in there actually uh, from. Uh, power measurement to uh, peak voltage, peak to peak, all that kind of stuff. But so if you zoom out, you can actually see there's a pretty big, hold on, pretty physical, pretty big physical difference in size. Way more compact, um, about the same thickness actually, but way more, more versatile. As far as on the go, it's got this nice rubber case. Um, seems like it protected pretty well in the event of a fall. Um, so far, I've only tested with the small amp, but uh, it can most likely go up to bigger amps. I might do a video testing at my uh, American Base 500.1 right here. Once I get that back hooked up in my vehicle, with this little. Uh, tantric slash atomic sub. So overall price to performance. This thing is awesome, easy to use, very compact, very durable and I think they also made a huge improvement on the battery life but uh, definitely a great buy so go check it out maybe upgrade from the clunkier version to this guy. That's all.